I'm on social media a lot and I'm hearing a lot of people saying they're moving from tech over to nursing or moving from tech over to finance, moving from tech over to business or some other career from tech. Now, the thing that you guys have to understand when it comes to tech, tech is one of the industry where you do not need to work for a company in order for you to make money. You can go ahead and be your own boss. You can go ahead and build your own software, go ahead and build your own app, build your own website, work on projects. Now, here's the thing. You guys are not probably hearing from companies because you don't have solid projects to present to that company to show them that you are capable of doing certain things or you have the knowledge of certain things. Either way, you have to work on projects to present to the company. So why not work on projects where you can make money from it? You can just build a small app and in that app, you ask for a little donation. That's all. For example, look at that step up app, how that app just blew. It's just a simple app that you use to count your steps. And within the past month, that app just blew up. And the person who made the app, they just asked for a small donation on the app, which a lot of people are donating. You can make money from doing those things. So you don't actually have to work for a company in order for you to make money when you're in tech. Tech is one of the careers or tech is one of the industry where you can make money from your skill. Sitting at home, you just sit in front of that computer, learn a new skill, learn a new stack, learn a new framework and put it into a project and push your project out there. Not only you can make money from projects, you can also be a content creator. Teach what you are learning. And that can even bring in an income for you. So you sitting at home complaining about the tech industry is complicated. There is no jobs. I wasted my time going to school to get a degree. There is so many ways to make money in this industry. There's a lot of ways you can make money in this industry. Lots. Besides Fiverr, beside Upwork, there are lots of ways you can make money. So what's the point of moving? Yes, the medical industry is booming right now. They would always need nurses. They would always need doctors. The medical industry is always there. But if you have a passion for coding, if you have a passion for tech, you move in into another field just for money, not for the love of it. And that's one of the worst thing you can do to yourself because after a year or two, you would understand that it's not about the money. It's what brings you joy. What brings you happiness when you work? When I code, I get a rush when I code and the code executed how I want it to be executed. And that's how you have to get up and go to work in the morning. You have to get up, going to work and doing a job that you enjoy. So you moving from tech to another industry just because of the money does not make any logical sense. If you love coding and that's your passion, that's your background, that's what you want to be in, make money by yourself. Coding is a skill and a high demand skill right now. AI, cybersecurity, cloud, those are stuff that embedded in other things. Example, in order for someone to do their work as a cybersecurity, that means that they have to protect something. They have to protect some type of product. Either it's a software or a website, whatever infrastructure they have on the cloud, they have to work with something. Tech is not going anywhere. Tech is an industry that will always be here. It's how you maneuver in tech, how you go around into getting yourself situated in tech. I mean, if you're going to sit at home in front of your computer and don't do anything, then I understand. 
you you are going to face complication if you don't get up and go out to meetups if you don't go out to uh networking if you don't go out to conferences if you don't create a social media platform and promote yourself it's going to be complicated for you create something and promote yourself promote your product just create 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 and you do not need to work for any company Become a social media influencer, become a content creator, whatever you are learning, teach it on YouTube and you can make money from that. I don't understand when people say they're moving because there is no money in tech, the, the market is so saturated. Yes, you can run into a lot of obstacles when it comes to tech, right? A lot of people know that and understand that, but you cannot wait to get a call back from a company in order for you to make money, start on working on your own personal project. Start on building yourself. Work with teams, find open source projects and work with people. Put yourself out there. Don't wait for someone to find you in that flock or else you're gonna wait a long, long time. So get up and do something, get up and push yourself, write a book, write code, sell your code, meet people, do stuff for yourself. And it's not easy. I'm not saying it's an easy road. It's not because if that was the case, I would have been a billionaire as well. It's not, but I am putting my foot forward. I am doing things that I never knew existed. And I'm like, I'm, I'm in shock that why aren't a lot of people doing this? I'm starting, I'm working on things right now that I never knew I could have done that. Don't let social media influence you to the point where you have to move into a next career. Just don't. The nursing field, the medical field is actually one of a great career too, but is that what you enjoy doing? Do you enjoy nursing or do you enjoy coding? Do you enjoy the medical field or do you enjoy coding? There are people in finance, for example, who don't work for a company. They just find clients and work on their own. Why can't you do the same thing? Why can't you have that same logic? You can get employed just by being active on social media. Don't think about if I go on social media, some people might laugh at me or some people might uh, pass comments that I don't really want to hear. People don't really do that. They don't. Now, if people don't like the video, they're just going to skip. They're just going to keep scrolling. Nobody sits and comments on a video that they really don't like. They just skip. Like it's 2024. Everybody's growing up. Everybody is, is on their adult mode right now. So don't feel like people, you're going to come online and people are going to bully you online. No. I've seen programmers already that I look up to make mistakes. You wouldn't see money overnight. No, but you have to build some type of foundation now. And then in two, three years, you would see the income from that. Now there's stuff that I wish I've done two, three years ago, which would be so much better for me right now, but it's never too late to start. It's never too late and don't feel that, okay, you're old or I'm, I'm over 40 and I'm over 50 to start coming into the tech industry. It's never an age bracket. It's never an age bracket to get into any industry, especially in tech. Now there's a lot of people in tech who don't know the back end of tech. There's a lot of tech content creators out there who don't know how to code. But they love tech so much when a new iPhone comes out, they would review it. When a new laptop comes out, they would review it. When a new uh, airpiece or camera comes out, they would review it. And they don't even know the back end or what it takes to create those things. And you are the back end of it. You are the one who's helping create those type of technology. You are the coder. So you should be more out there than the people who's reviewing the products, which you know how to create those products for those machine or those devices to work. 
And I really don't understand. Just start do something. Start. If you don't want to go on camera, just start writing coding books. It doesn't matter if chat GPT is there or not. And that's the thing. A lot of people think like, why should I waste my time creating content and chat GPT is there? Why should I waste my time and write a book when chat GPT is there? But guess what? I don't want to go on chat GPT all the time to learn something. Sometimes I just want to pick up a book and go by the water and read and learn something. Sometimes I just want to sit in the living room, have the music in the background and read a book. Sometimes I just want to sit outside and read a book than always having to pick up my computer and go on chat GPT or go on Google and to learn something. I want, I want a book. I want a book. And there's a lot of people out there who still physically want to learn stuff from a book than going on the web or using their laptops or write blogs, write a lot of blogs. Even if it don't work out for you right now, it will work out for you in the future. Just set up yourself now. The tech industry is not complicated. You are making it complicated. And when you go on social media and seeing people complaining are making it complicated. So I hope you take my advice that I give you and start. And maybe when you go out into corporate, you don't enjoy it. Now I'm a person I like to code. So if I code at home, if I code at work, I enjoy it. I do what I love to do. I don't go behind a career for money. I do it for enjoyment. I love coding. I love computers. So wherever I go, it have to be around computers. It have to be around coding. Technology is more than amazing right now. And that's where you need to be. Just go with the flow, go with what the industry are pushing in right now and you'll be fine. So that was my little rant for this video. I hope you took in some information and if you have, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will catch up in the next video.